Hello everybody and welcome back to another Final Fantasy a job a tier list and today we're talking about monks. Yeah, that's it. Monks, punchy punch, all of the characters that are unarmed in generally or just claws. Sometimes they have claws and that's okay. It's gonna be pretty short on this one. We have done long ones. It's not the ranger levels, so let's get started with Final Fantasy 1 Monk. And I guess it's like martial art. Like it's like, I just, I I don't use them. Do you use Monk in Final Fantasy 1? Because if you do, please let me know. You're probably the only one. Um, they could be a good investment if you don't want to spend the money for equipment. Sure. But like, you might as well use a warrior or just a red mage at that point. I don't know. I just... I'm always- you use monk arc? I'm just always underwhelmed by it. I have used a monk before and I'm like, never again. Um, it doesn't have that much utility. It is a little bit tanky, but it's just- it's just damage. It's- it's just damage. I'd rather have utility over damage. Maybe that's just me. Final Fantasy 2 is- I was like, what's his name again? It's Joseph. And... I like Joseph as a character, okay? But like, there's a really bad decision at, at a, just, I don't, there, it could have been avoided, okay? I think he, uh, it's gonna be really dark to say, but I think he uh, took the boulder on purpose because he maybe just didn't want to go home, but I just, I, it could have been avoided. I just can't, at that point of the game, I'm like, what are you doing? We could have just, we could have, you could have, we could have just jumped probably survived it. I don't know. There's other things we could have done. Not the brightest cookie in the game. I think he's gonna be top of D B tier because yes, he beats FF1 Monk in my mind, but like I don't know. Not that convincing to me. Then we have a guy who is gonna also be B tier because I, I do like him. Like he speaks beaver. Okay, it's very important. There's cookies. There's brain cookies. What? <laughs> um He's okay. He's like your loyal third-party member that never talks until he's like, oh, yeah, I speak beaver and you're like you speak So beavers are the moogles basically Congratulations, you speak moogle, but like he's got no personality. It's just he's pretty average like he's a very bland character um, Personally, I make him kind of get tanky HP sponge uh, when I build my character in FF2, so it's not terrible Final Fantasy 3 monk um, you get Monk early enough that it's useful. It's a useful class. It's definitely not a class you keep end game. You can do so much better than Monk. Yeah, that's all I got. They're good. But you could do... There's other classes that you can bring with you that will have better utility, better damage, and better tankiness. It depends on where you're at in the game. So they're not bad, but they're not good, in my opinion. So it's gonna be B tier for me. Valif with a 70 month resub. Thank you very, very much for that continued support. Let's talk about FF4. FF4 Yang is a top tier character in my opinion. Um, him and his wife just makes me laugh every time I play the game. I think uh, his resolve, he's important to the story. He's well written. I think he's really cool. I like that uh, you can go and get him uh, end game. You can go save him. Um, the whole frying pan. <laughs> the whole frying pan scene is just absolutely adorable. In Final Fantasy IV, the after years, he's probably one of the top characters in that game as well. Uh, he's a little bit of a strict father, but I mean, like, he's king, so it is what it is. He's is. He's gotta do it. I, I think Yang is great. Final Fantasy V Monk. I'm trying to think. Never really utilize them, actually. I don't think I've ever put efforts into bringing a monk. Um, they can punch things. <laughs> Still better than these. Um, I've never put investment into monks. I'm not sure what they look like in endgame. Uh, but I just know that they can do a decent amount of damage. That's all I... I don't even know what their second ability is that you can equip. Monks are annoying when trying to farm with blue. Why? Do they counter? Do they counter? Cause counter. Okay, well if they have counter it could be useful. But again, I've never like... 
They started strong, but they fall off. Yeah, it's it's a it's your early game damage, I guess. I don't know. I, I've never felt the need to use them. I'm gonna put them in B tier because it's it's a neutral opinion. FF6 Ugh, Sabin is actually a very top tier monk as well. I, I enjoy the character. I think he's a comic relief a little bit. A little bit like Locke. Um his limit break. So, no, it's not limit break for them. It's like the input um, is actually very strong. Uh, he also still stays strong in end game. Like he's a good party member to have an FF6. I've only played it twice, but um, he's never really failed me. I'm not mad at him. I think he's funny. Um, and I think it's just like a, he cares deep down, right? And so that's good. There's some counter strike. Yeah, okay, other situational. Sabin not being S tier because he can suplex a train. He can, but they patched it. I'll put him top of A tier. That's it. Tifa is the only character to hit D tier twice. Wow. Uh, Tifa is an S tier for me. She, I've said this multiple times on stream, but, you know, in the Tifa Aerith War, I am team Tifa. Tifa's my girl. Love her. Love what they did with her in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I did have issues on some key points in the og game with tifa not calling out uh cloud on some things but at the same time i feel like they're changing that and they're fixing that in the remakes and so i think uh i think i'm gonna be a tifa girl forever really really are we drinking coffee you're all thirsty hi yaksha how are you <laughs> look at this thirsty chat right here wow you're drinking tea okay well i'm gonna drink some water because uh Tifa, I see. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of heat for that one with Zell. Oh, he's gonna be in the C tier. Okay, I don't like his character. I Please don't hate me. I just don't like his character. I don't like the weird obsession with hot dogs. I just, I just don't get him. I don't understand him. I cannot relate to him in a way. Is he strong? 100%. Is he a uh, limit break? Uh, incredibly powerful. I don't use it. I don't like using it uh, for chat. Yes, uh, we still have our affiliate program with uh, Four Sigmatic. You click that link if you want some coffee. Uh, very, very good coffee. I love their think line. <laughs> totally an ad, technically. Thanks, Rock. Um, I don't know. I just I, I know people love Zal. They love to use him because of his powerfulness in his limit break. But I just don't care about him, so I bench him. I'll use Renoa any day. Another surprise, probably, but um, Amaron is a tier to me. Uh, do I? Yeah. He's, okay. His trance ability to chakra AOE in a party of mages is so fucking good when you have no MP. Amarant? No, Amarant. Um, Amarant is a little bit of an asshole, I'll give that to you. He does have an important character growth, actually two points in FF9 where he grows tremendously. And so he goes from a bland character to, to a, oh, I see where you're coming from now. And I think that Amarant is also very, very important for Zidane's character growth to happen. If it wasn't for that, I don't think Zidane would have found something in himself that way and um again as a monk with claws he's got very useful skills but chakra it's chakra that's so strong um my first maybe three runs of maybe four runs of final fantasy 9 i had used amaranth in my main party and then after this i started using quina which is super fun but yeah um a tier for me probably bottom of a tier but i if you if you utilize him properly Amaranth is incredibly powerful, in my opinion. All of these are biased choices, so... Prish! Um... Well, I know her a little bit from Dissidia. That's it, I haven't played Final Fantasy XI. I don't have an opinion on her. So I'm gonna put her neutral B tier. I know people love her. Um, in Dissidia, the DS... Not the DS, the, uh, the PSP game... Um, she had a cute voice. I liked her. She's very high energetic. Um, she seems adorable, but I just don't know the character. Therefore, I have no opinions. I just... She's cute? Is she a princess or a queen? I don't know. She's got a crown. I don't know anything about her. If you want to teach me about her, though, let me know uh, in the comments below or in chat right now because, like, I don't know her. 
Is she important to the story? I feel like she's important to the story, but like, who is she? To no surprise to anybody that know me, I say this a lot today, <laughs> instant, instant D tier. I hate Snow. Worst character. He's my bottom three. Like, there's Kane, there's Vaughn, and there's Snow. Terrible character. Terrible character growth. Hate everything about him. Um, can't do it. I can't do it. He isn't that bad. And no, he's that bad. <laughs> Series of bad decisions based on impulsive decisions. Not even like, let's think this through. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me just go walk out in front of this giant helicopter just to get shot because well i'm the hero like it's such a dumb thing to do why would you do that i just can't i can't i disagree with almost all of his opinions and all of his decisions and every time i play final fantasy 13 i find myself being pissed at him constantly i just do not like him and then 13 2 happens and i'm like you finally reunited with your future wife which he hasn't married yet by the way and it's like, the fuck are you doing leaving her again? Just become a party member. Travel with her. Do something. I don't know. He pisses me off so much. Better than anyone else. Well, the thing is, it's just... I don't... I just... I can't. It's just not a personality I mesh with well at all. Um, people hate snow. Sorry. People hate hope. In 13, I hate snow. I find hope quite fine. I actually quite like hope, but yeah, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. He doesn't get better. And then there's there's lightning return snow. <sighs> Which is probably the best snow out of all three. Let's be honest. He finally realized how much he's messed up in his life. And he's like, oh, I guess I'll just give up. I just, I hate it. I hate it. I hate this whole st story plot. I just can't do it. In Final Fantasy fourteen, we have, uh, who's, Hats Faith? It has to be S tier. So Hats Faith, uh, raided with us for a while. Very good friend. Um, I'm sorry, but like Tifa beats you. I'm, it's Tifa. I'm so sorry, but I will put you in S Hats. Uh, because you're pretty amazing and you're probably the best monk player I know so there you go in Final Fantasy 16 spoilers we have Hugo Kupka it's probably my least favorite boss battle the people that play monk really play it so S is probably right yes I feel like monk is like a dedication practice class 100% so Kupka is a fantastic antagonist villain. Um, I really like the one-on-one -on -one fight. I don't like the iconic fight that you place with him. I do feel like he fits the role of Monk beautifully. I think I'm going to put him right below Yang because like, he knows what to do. Like, you know, he fights with his fist. He breaks up with his fist. He also have like, when he primes, he's got like the fists, which we totally steal from him. Um, but I feel like he was such a good character. Like Benedicta, it's too bad that it don't last longer. Uh, but I think he was really well written. The voice was so good. The animation was so good. Like, he's got a very cool storyline. And, um, I don't know. I really like him for, for that. So, yeah, A tier feels right to me. Is it 8 that punches... Type zero, is it eight? I don't know, I'm not a fan of him. He's fast, he punches. People really like him, couldn't use him. I couldn't use him. Um, so C tier. Maybe above Zell. Yeah, I feel like that's right. I don't know many people that mained eight, but I do know that the people that did use him really enjoyed him because he's fast. Um, it's just not my play style. So yeah, C, C tier for me feels right. Final Fantasy Tactics, one of my most favorite job right here. S tier for Monk, I know. You got Earth Slash. You got freaking Chakra. And you pair it with Dual Sword. You punch twice. You got your counter. You got Hamado, which is really good. Um, honestly, I feel like Final Fantasy Tactics Monks are the strongest class early game. 
it's a good investment. They're a little bit squishy because they can't equip hats either. No, they can have hats. I'm thinking of randomizers. Um, low investment in equipment, uh, high strength, generally decent speed. I think they're very good. Ironic? How's that ironic? <laughs> I think they're very, very good. Um, or to have them as a, if you learn un unharmed strike, and then you put that passive on a ninja, incredibly powerful as well. Like they're just such a well-rounded class that you can use as your second class or your main class quite effectively. No hats, right next to hat space. Perfect, now, now they have a hat right next to them. And last but not least, I believe these are the white monk in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I don't use them. I don't know. Are they good? Are they not good? Let me know because I have no idea. But I think this is the official monk. I don't think I want to make any changes to this one. This is my Final Fantasy job tier list for monks. I think these are fair. Well, fair to me. I mean, it's all biased. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree with any of these placements? Would you switch a couple things? Would you put Tifa lower? Because I wouldn't. She's the best monk. Especially her limit break. Nobody else has Dolphin Blow. It's really cool. So let me know in the comments below or in Twitch chat. Feel free to argue. We're going to spend some time. If you're watching this from YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. If you're from um, Twitch chat, the next one will be Samurai. So we'll see you soon. Bye.